So, Fung, it's the most fabulous pleasure to see you. I've been looking forward to our conversation so much ever since I heard you play this magnificent violin concerto created by Zhao Ji Ping. I uh, heard you play it earlier this year at London's Cadogan Hall. First question, was this the London premiere of this beautiful piece? I mean, in April this year, the performance which I did in London of this Zhao Ji Ping first violin concerto was actually the UK premiere uh, of this piece. So the piece was written about uh, four years ago. Yeah, so it's actually very, very fresh, four years ago. And I was the person who actually did the uh, the world premiere, which was in Beijing at the NCPA, the National Center of Performing Art in Beijing, about four or five years ago. And um, uh, we made a live recording of that performance and published. And I've been playing actually uh, ever since the piece, so many in so many different places. I wanted to ask you about the process of collaborating with mm -hmm. a composer, creating something fresh and new. Um, talk me through a little bit about what was involved with this concerto. First of all, I mean, um, he, uh, Zhao Jiping, the composer, um, he is one of the most well-known and respected composer in China. His work has been heard in so many other different countries, uh, including actually the Berlin Field once performed his, uh, one of his symphonic poems, which is uh, based on one of his movie score. The theme itself um, is so touching and immediately it puts you, it puts the person either playing it or listening to it in such a uh, calm and enjoyable mood. And of course, uh, learning this piece um, as the first person who ever plays on it. There's nothing I, that I could actually have, you know, uh, there's nobody I could ask for preference. There's no recordings and everything. So w what plays a big role when I was learning this is to read from the score, to understand the harmony, to really understand the, the structure, the orchestration of it. I did feel that there was a lot of dialogue in this Absolutely. piece, that it's it's almost it's almost like we would talk about um, chamber music, like a, just a collaboration with every member of the orchestra. Absolutely. So you earlier this year you gave the UK premiere, but I know that uh, a few years ago you did a big tour in America, playing in Carnegie Hall in in New York and San Francisco, Chicago, Philadelphia. Okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. very interested in the response of American audiences to a piece that I felt was a very a very immediate piece. How mm -hmm. were the the audiences in the United States? When we toured this piece in the United States, yeah, and the audience there were, um, as always, very enthusiastic. And um, although this piece is so typically written in a Chinese traditional form like we I mean he used a lot of pentatonic um, scales and the harmonies are also uh, very traditional and very exotic in a way I mean very far eastern oriental but because the uh, orchestration and everything's westernized where we were using completely a, uh, uh, a symphonic orchestra to perform so it was actually very well received. And I always believe this. It's, it's a bit like Bartok, uh, when it's national. But and Bartok it's, is a Hungarian composer, a famous Hungarian it, composer. Absolutely, yes. yeah. So he is, the Bartok, he, he, everything he wrote is so Hungarian. It's so national in a way. Immediately we know it's the Hungarian folk dance, but in the same time, it's so international as well. And everybody loves it. And this was precisely the case when we brought it to the States and performed it in, uh, I think, at least five, six different cities, major cities. And um, not because of what I did, but because the composer, what he wrote, um, there were really many people, they were in tears because it's such a nice, a touching, moving, music, piece of music. 
It yeah. really is. It's so touching. I was reaching for my handkerchief in, in, in the Cadogan oh, Hall oh, oh, as well. And I loved the way that you were fully immersed in this um, beautiful music. And I, I felt that there was a true amalgamation of East and West with the style and, as you say, the harmonies, the five note pentatonic scale that's such a feature of Chinese music but also then balanced out with this full symphony orchestra. I, I thought it was, I think it's a very, very special piece of music. Um, so the composer summed up the piece in, in three words. Um, it was something like love, peace and pursuit. Mm -hmm. How would you sum up um, this piece of beautiful music? Well, um, as how you just described, this is, um a choice element with the Western uh, presentation. And this is precisely my background because I come from China, um, but I learned classical music in England and in Germany. And this is actually what I do for a living. I'm a, a violinist, professional violinist. So it's all about bringing two different cultures together and have it uh, somehow unified and find the perfect balance so this piece for me to sum up it's to bring the perfect balance of east and west to bring different balance uh, to bring different culture and find the balance and, and the harmony in it Ning Huang, it's been an absolute joy to hear your words and your wisdom about this beautiful piece of music and about music in general. Thank you so much for our conversation today for The China Current. Thank you so much.